for the first time, we're hearing from the prosecutors who put Stephen Matthews away exactly one week ago. The judge that sent the convicted rapist to prison for 158 years said the evidence against him was overwhelming. He drugged 10 women, sexually assaulted eight of them. Well, now the prosecutors who put him away are pulling back the curtain on their case, sharing how Matthews tried to destroy evidence and how women came out of the woodwork to support him. Your investigator Brian Moss has been following the case against Matthews since before police charged him. Well, now Brian joins us with this one on one interview. We, the jury, find the defendant Stephen Matthews guilty of assault in the second degree. Convicted in August. <laughs> Sentenced just over a week ago for drugging and sexually assaulting women he met on dating apps. I don't think it has much to do with sex at all. The prosecutors who put Stephen Matthews behind bars. I did, I got emotional. Say the women who testified against Matthews were just the beginning. How many more victims do you think there are? Hundreds. The prosecutors revealing now that about 30 more women have provided statements to Denver police detailing their experiences with the former cardiologist. But you guys felt like you could have charged him in many other cases? Yes. So if we had gone forward on everyone who had come forward, we would have been in a position of being in trial for six months longer. It's no secret, obviously, that he is a very prolific serial rapist. But, but I what was secret until this interview? how Matthews tried to destroy evidence. I think there's enough evidence to say that he was definitely getting rid of things on his phone. Did he do it well? No. We also know that he was manipulating some of the data that was in his phone um, surrounding some of the women, text messages that we knew to be missing like portions of the message or deleted. Um, or deleted. You tore her life apart. But for all the women, Stephen Matthews hurt. Stephen Matthews took away what normal looks like for me. For all the women whose lives he darkened, jail records show other women, between five to 10 of them, according to these prosecutors, emerged during the case and offered Matthews comfort and reassurance. And they came out of the woodwork to support him, and then they developed a more active relationship. But he definitely had multiple women that he was talking to throughout the pendency of the case, and they changed as the case went on. You've taken away her trust. Her the prosecutors have been more focused on the women who stood up in court, who shared their stories of what happened on dates with Stephen Matthews. And they hope this case sends a message to other victims of sexual assault that if they come forward, they will be supported and they will be safe. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. In the last two years, Brian has spoken exclusively with several survivors about their experience. If you want to watch any of his past investigations, all you have to do is visit our website.